Hello everyone, April 20 was the most horrifying day in the history of Netflix where the market cap of more than 50 billion dollars was wiped off and the share price of Netflix fell roughly around 35% from $348 to $220. And surprisingly, on April 19, one day before this huge crash, Netflix issued their quarterly results and it stated that they lost 2 lakh users in the first quarter of 2022. And a loss of users in such a large amount happened for the first time in the last 10 years. And it also stated that they may lose another 2 million users in the very next quarter of 2022. So what was the reason behind this huge crash? Was it because of the COVID-19 pandemic or the Russia-Ukraine war or maybe something else? So let's end the curiosity and jump into the video. Comparative to the fourth quarter of 2021 and the first quarter of 2022, Netflix lost around 2 lakh users. If you look at the current dynamics, there can be multiple reasons for this downfall like macroeconomical reason, war between Russia and Ukraine, the COVID-19 pandemic or even the rising inflation all around the world, maybe sharing your Netflix password and maybe the competition which is faced by Netflix. So if this downfall is caused by the top 3 reasons, then we will be seeing other OTT platforms like Amazon Prime, Disney Plus failing. But that's not the case, Netflix is still failing. So the answer lies in one word which is competition. On the other hand, where the inflation is skyrocketing in many countries, most of the people can't afford to buy all the OTT subscription because of which researchers suggest around 38% people in Britain will cancel their subscription because of high cost of living. The same scenario exists in United States too. Reports indicate that 36% of Americans could cut down the streaming subscription to cut cost of living. And the second main reason for the decline of users is sharing of password. For an example, when you want to watch Squid Game on Netflix and you realize that you don't have a Netflix account. So what will you do? The first thing is you'll call up a friend and ask for his Netflix ID and password. Right? Now this may look like a normal transaction for you, but for Netflix, this caused a loss of 100 million new users on board. Out of 222 million users, 100 million users shared their password to others to access their account, which is almost 45% of them. So Netflix being cheeky, they found a solution for it, which they will be rolling out next year, in which the 100 odd million people who are currently using someone else's password to access the account will have to pay up or log off altogether. So it will be interesting to watch how Netflix will tackle this problem and find its way out. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.